the other day in Karajini into Kalamana, Kalamina Gorge today. 3k's 3 hour return is what the signs say. Let's see how we go. It's fairly early, 8 o'clock. There's no one really around this morning. There's only us and two more cars here this morning. This is the Falls Lookout area. Can't no. see it. Great. Can't see it. Not really. Alright. Uh, That was an easy little descent into the gorge. Only took a few minutes. Get a better look at the falls from down here. Can you swim in there? Yeah. It looks like we've got to go up and over here. Mm -hmm. Just be careful, okay? Yeah. It says it can be slippery. This fish, Dad. It is fish. Can it go right around? Or? It looks like it. You'll just have to be careful, though. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Do you want to play cream? Making our way through the Kalamina Gorge. You can look your box in the the falls back there were quite pretty, little but pretty. And down this way we should get to a rock arch pool. And that's as far as you can go and turn around and come back again. I'm sure it's going to be another hot day. And we've been doing 36, 37. Talking to the ranger yesterday, he was saying temperatures in a couple of months will get up to 50 to 55 degrees out here. It's be pretty uncomfortable and the rangers stay out here year round because they do get a few people coming into the park and they've got to manage wildfires and flooding for that matter. Wildfires and flooding at the same time. He was saying at Christmas time, Christmas day, he was in the park by himself because obviously there's not anyone else around in terms of tourists. And there was a fire and then a day later the place was in flood so they, they are subject to the wet season of northern uh, part of australia but they don't get the humidity here so they get 50 to 55 degrees with rain but no humidity which would be quite odd and all these gorges turn from you know this trickling nice little streams to absolute raging torrents in the space of like an hour. Crazy. The walk through Kalamina Gorge is a pretty easy relaxing one and while there wasn't great opportunities for swimming, it is quite scenic. We took some time at the arch pool to enjoy the shade and take it all in before retracing our path through the gorge.
making our way down to Joffrey Falls just had a view of where we're headed to it looks pretty amazing the water looks beautiful it's hot we're looking forward to a swim this is gonna be magnificent I think um, where's the track? there's class 4 sign there so obviously down here another one there and that's where we're going down this way nice and slow and easy does it I reckon My legs are sore from yesterday. Yeah. It's all starting to catch up, eh? Um, my legs haven't been hurting at all in the morning, which is good. It's a, the creek, Joffrey Creek, I suppose it's called, where we're heading. Please, careful, Isaac, please. And don't touch the rocks, you there. Two, the handle. Do you want me to hold on to you? You're probably better off holding on to the rocks, so. You're right, you got it. Can you hold my hand up here? Yeah. We try to focus on bottom. So where do you go? How do you get down there? Not sure. I don't know if I can do it, Barry. Yeah, if you can, you can. I mean, I'm going to stick to these arrows. Let me jump down and have a look. Okay. It's if you've got longer legs, this would be easy. And, mom, if you go down this way, this will be okay. And just getting there without slipping is the interesting part too. The track down to the bottom of Joffrey Falls is rated class 5. It's very difficult with a large section being almost vertical. You use rock ledges to climb down and need to retrace your footsteps on the return journey. It was a real challenge testing our nerves. Rachel decided it was beyond her capabilities, so made her way back to the shade of a fig tree to wait for me and the kids to return.
There's a heap more gorge that can be explored downstream, but I felt the kids were a bit young to take it on and we didn't want to leave Rachel waiting too long. So it looks like that one makes it to the list of places we need to return one day. The slabs of rock that make up the base of the creek were really slippery making it difficult to walk, so sometimes swimming through the shallow water was a better option. Made it down to the bottom of Joffrey Falls. It was a bit of a trek in here, I'll say. Rachel wasn't keen on finishing the walk down, which is fair enough. It was almost like sheer drop off. A few steps in there just so that you've got something to hang on to. But it was definitely worth the trek down here. Kids managed to do it. Got some photos. Need to have a bit more of a swim because it certainly is hot, the water's nice and cool. A bit of a chill out down here, and then make the trek back up. And I think it'll be time for lunch. gorge lookout. Don't think we're actually going to do this gorge, but I thought we'd come to the lookout. It's class 5 all the way and we've just done Joffrey Gorge which was only partially class 5 and it was pretty hardcore so Rachel's definitely not up for it. I could possibly do it, don't know about with the kids eh? so we'll settle for the lookout. We could just have a look and see what the walking track's like. I'm not doing it though. So I can't get these guys to do another track today. I think they've had they enough. Want, yeah, they want to go back to yeah. camp and uh, go and hang at Fortescue. Yeah. Sam Paul, that's pretty nice. We've got one day left in Karajini to explore Hammersley Gorge before we head to Millstream to Chester National Park. And we've been told about a great camp spot just outside the National Park for our last night but that'll have to wait until next episode. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and we'll catch you next time.